So it just finally finished on as a queue of people. Next week's regarded as one of the biggest fights of 2017. Triple G and Canelo, and it's not going to be an easy picking as a Mayweather and McGregor. No, 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 it's not easy picking at all. You've got two great fighters. Both fighters in their own right are great. They're both going to be, they're both Hall of Famers in my, in my eyes. The, the body of work, what, body of work which both of them have put forth have been amazing. So the only blemish really is the Mayweather fight, and that was when Canelo was like 22 or something. He was a kid mm. when he fought him. You know, if there was a fight now, it would be a different situation. Uh, now that um, Mayweather's in his 40s, and yeah. you know, um, well, how old is um, Curlo? He's 26. 26? Now he's in his prime. Oh, and Mayweather's got his... part of his prime. So now, yeah, that'd be a different story. But it was what it was. That's the only blemish. No, no lost, lost to fight on points. But since that point, he's really put a great body of work with, with Cotto and all these, all, these, all these great fighters. Always, always, always in great shape. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that. First, when the first fight was announced, when it was announced first, I sort of sided with Triple G. But then I, what well, was ringside for his fight against um, Bill Brook, he was taking a hell of a lot of shots in that fight. He had no regard for his defence. Mm -hmm. um, and then his fight against Jacobs. You know, if I was a referee, if I was a judge, I would have scored it for Jacobs. Mm -hmm. So come off two fights, one against a guy who's two weights below you, and getting peppered. You know, bust his face up a little bit, and then having this fight against Jacobs, where you didn't think that great. Not the best preparation to go in against the best fight you're ever going to be fight fighting. So at first, I, when it first announced out, Triple G. But as time has gone on, I've started to watch their fights. I'm like, Canelo, Canelo's no joke. Canelo is an absolutely tremendous boxer, boxing ability, head, body, body punch is great, rhythm, timing. He ha he's more of a full package than uh, Canelo. Canelo can, doesn't need the full package because he punches so hard. Triple G. Triple G, so Triple G punches so hard that he can kind of, it doesn't matter what else he does, it doesn't yeah. matter what he does because he just ends it with one shot. Well, Canelo doesn't do that, but he has to, be, he, he builds on rounds, he wins rounds. I believe um, Canelo could quite easily get an early lead and just hold on to that lead and lose a few rounds, one or two rounds here. But I, I, if, I had, if I was forced to put some money on it, I'd say um, Canelo Alvarez on points. That's yeah. my prediction for that fight. On points? Yeah. Wow, on points, yeah. Are you go for I that? Don't, I don't believe, when is it, what's the date? It's 16th, week. next Saturday. I don't know, if I can, I will, I'm not sure. Mexican weekend? I know, if I, if I can slide out there, I'll jump on the flight. I'd have a nice time if you wanted. I'm not sure if I've got Saturday at all. If, if I could have went, I'd probably be going, but I've still got something else on. David A, as always, my man, thank you for your time, always generous. No problem. I uh, appreciate it, and we'll surely catch up with you closer to, obviously, the build up of Haymaker Ring yeah. David A for fireup.com, thank you very much.